This is my daddy. Hey, what's going on guys? Chris LaBelle here. So Dominic and I are up in Kananaskis, Upper Spray Lakes. We come here all the time. People say, man, you guys go to the same place. Well, when people buy a cottage or a camp or property and they have their getaway, that's where they go every week, weekend, month, for years. So this is where we come. It's an amazing place. I'd love to take you guys up here. I'm a great guide. Um, very motivational, very spiritual, and it's, uh, it's a bit grueling. Uh, we don't walk up here, okay? We run, and we run down, and we spend time. We don't just sit up here and, you know, oh, we made it, take a selfie and go. It's too much of that going on. I was at Lake Louise yesterday, I almost vomited. Everybody out there taking selfies and whatnot. Jeez, like, put your phones away and bask in the glory. I was up there for five minutes, took a couple pictures, and man, God, I couldn't take any more. I had to go walk like an hour up the lake just to go sit and be by myself. So we decided to come out again because I felt that my adventure was tarnished. And his adventure was tarnished. But boy, oh boy, he's a, such a great companion. He's an amazing young man. I just want to publicly say I'm very proud of my son for all the performances that he's done lately with his comedy. He's had some major shows. He's performed in front of 300 people almost five, six times. I'm not sure what the rest of the industry is thinking about it, but his five-minute set is flawless. It's awesome. And there's a lot of comics who've seen him. Uh, Dominic's a great actor, and he's a great spirit, and he's always out to help another human being. He never, uh, he's not selfish, and he's very caring. He's a one-of-a-kind young man, and there's a reason why I'm constantly adorning him and, and putting him in the spotlight. I've never met anyone like him. He's my best friend. So with that being said, what do you got to say, buddy? This is about motivation. You got to keep yourself healthy. Healthy, <laughs> right? And you gotta not walk up the hill. You gotta do it. Dig deep. <laughs> you gotta dig deep? Yeah. Tell him again. Do that again. Do that again. Tell him how you dig deep. You gotta dig deep. And this place is beautiful. But down there is hard. There is a waterfall you have to climb up. And it is the hardest thing ever. Keep going. And when you get to that waterfall, it's gonna be even harder. You have to walk up all the way, no stopping. Well, I did stop a little bit, but. <laughs> you forgot your puffer. Yeah. Because you have what? Asthma. You have asthma. What's asthma? I don't want anybody to know. You don't want anyone to know? No. Why? I don't know. Dominic's been battling asthma his entire life. He takes three puffers a day. Every day since the day he's been born. He came out with a wheeze. I'll never forget that. Daddy had asthma too. A lot of people don't know that about Crystal Bell. My first couple years of life, I was a bubble boy. Go, go ahead, check the medical records. I spent my first couple of years in a medical, in a, in a plastic, in a, in a bag. I was a bubble boy. It uh, provided oxygen for me because I couldn't breathe. I couldn't produce enough air on my own. I'm dead serious. I've endured endless, endless circumstances and obstacles that, you know, I shouldn't even be here today, but I am. And, uh, and I'm great to have my son. This video is kind of getting long-winded because he got crazy. I don't know, he turned into Ric Flair. <laughs> Show him your echo. Yeah! Yeah! Go, warrior. Woo! Give a roar. Ah! Yeah! So with that being said, remember, move back, son. With that being said, you gotta remember, when you come to the mountains, be safe. There are bears, there are cougars, there are animals out here that are predators. If you're not safe, you're not protective of your food and your surroundings, you're not paying attention to what you're doing, you don't have the proper apparatuses like bear spray or a simple bear banger or flare to let others know that you're in danger, then quite frankly, you're not prepared for the outdoors. So with that being said, um, that's it. I just want everyone to know that there's a whole other world outside of your, your social media and TV and series and movies and beer halls, endless amount of beer halls. It's all I see people doing is taking selfies from patios. I mean, once a week is cool, but every day? Come on, man, get in the car and take a drive out to the outdoors. It'll change your life. And if you can't do it on your own, I'll take you. Right, Don? Right. I want you to roar into the camera, go closer and crawl into it like a bear. Woo! You feel good? Yeah, I'm gonna break. I can't do it. I broke the other pieces. Never mind. I'm Chris LaBelle. Yeah!
Get off Dominic! LaPel! He's been eating a lot of meat lately. I don't know what's going on. It's very Whoa. intense. He just uh, enjoys beating in the outdoors, breaking sticks. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Good? <laughs> yeah.